It's quiz time. We want to know, are you at risk for heart disease? There's a quiz that you can take. So we came to visit our friend and upstate cardiologist, Dr. Daniel Green, at the office, you know, right here at Bon Secours. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Let's start first before we talk about a quiz. What exactly is heart disease? What does it all entail? Sure. There's a, uh, a multitude of different diseases. Um, when we're uh, talking about the heart, and I'm a, a heart specialist, so I deal with a myriad of different problems. But in general, I think for the, the, the population, we worry about um, uh, two sort of categories of disease. One is blocked heart arteries, Ooh. and that's what, that's what heart attacks are, chest pain, those kinds of things. And the other is a heart muscle that has become weak and is failing the body, and that's called heart failure. Those are probably the two big things that the general pop population is really concerned about. And how can you tell if you have either of those? Well, almost all of the diagnosis is, is started because of symptoms that develop. So when people start developing chest pain, shortness of breath, swelling in their legs, difficulty doing their regular life, and they see a, probably a primary care doctor, that doctor then passes them on to a heart specialist where we can do further investigation. And there's, you know, different kind of quizzes and mm -hmm. things you can take. I know, mm -hmm. you know, a, a while ago you were on the show and you were talking about like going upstairs. If you mm -hmm. can't go upstairs without feeling fatigued or having to stop, right. that should be a really good yep. sign that you yep. may need to come see someone. That's like right. I, I always tell my patients, I encourage patients to exercise. I encourage everybody to exercise on a regular basis. If you're remaining active and suddenly you're not able to do what you're normally able to do, that can be a very good early warning sign that there's something going on. Right. If you usually walk a mile and suddenly after half a mile you're having a problem or going up a flight of stairs, you go up the flight of stairs every day and you don't have a problem and suddenly you're having a problem on the stairs, if there's been a precipitous change in your ability to do something physical, that is often a sign to us that there's a problem brewing. And I feel like, you know, with like the heart attacks, we feel like, you know, some of that could be prevented by lower cholesterol, not mm -hmm. eating, obviously no smoking, working right. out. What right. about, you know, the other heart diseases and stuff that you see with it? Is there stuff that we can do to prevent those? Yeah, um, I, I think we, I would refer you to this online tool where uh -huh. you can kind of make an assessment about your overall health and it, it sort of highlights some areas where you may be high or, or, or not so high risk, but there's a lot to heart health. And in general, heart health, you know, the, the heart, I feel like, is the center of the body. Yeah. And so um, heart health is a lot um, like just whole person health, you know. So if you want your heart to be healthy, you need to have good nutrition. Well, if you want your body to be healthy, you need to have good nutrition. Right. Um, heart health is tied, we've talked about it before, to sleep, having good, mm -hmm. uh, a good, healthy uh, sleep habits, getting enough sleep, not getting too much sleep. Um, exercise that we just said, and then there are other disease processes that we know are common in the United States, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, and all of these things can lead to problems with your heart down the road. The good thing it seems like when you're dealing with anything heart related is that if you've made some bad choices in the past, you can kind of correct a lot of things. Yep, yep, there, there's a lot that we can do if we decide to change the way we're living. Uh -huh. um, a lot of heart disease, and I wouldn't say all of it, but right. a lot of heart disease is dependent on the, the, the lifestyle uh, choices that we make. Uh -huh. Now there's a good portion of heart disease that's genetic, and we see um, heart disease run in families, people who have strong family histories, brothers, sisters, moms, and dads who've had heart disease also tend to have heart disease, but um, there's a lot that we can do from a lifestyle standpoint without even needing to take medicine that can help prevent heart disease. Okay, we have this online kind of quiz. It's yeah. very easy to get to. I have all the information at the bottom of the screen so mm -hmm. you can click on it. If someone, you know, takes this quiz and they're like, uh-oh, do they just reach out to y'all directly or do they have to be referred by yeah. their regular doctor? They can reach out to our office and, and get an appointment without a referral. So there, there's no need for um, to go through your primary care doc. But I think that's usually a good place to start. Yeah. So if you have some concerns, you can go online and take this quiz. It might highlight some areas of concern and then sit down and talk to your primary care doctor, express what your concerns are and see what, what direction they take things. If you want to talk to a heart doctor, you can always come and talk to us too. I love it. It's nice having you in the Rolodex to be like, Dr. Dan, is this normal? Yes, okay, good, good perfect. Okay. Well, thank you again. I know you're busy, we Good. appreciate it. All that information right there at the bottom of your screen.